Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And we got the power of number four, power of number seven, and the number 10. Looks like we're going to the number 21. 21 in tarot is the world card. So something about closing out old patterns and cycles, karmic patterns and cycles, or this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, they're getting ready to close out a cycle, whether they know it or not. There's a cycle that is coming to a close. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Others of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio born in the month of November. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. Others of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. And others of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could be 20. 21, 24, or 27 years of age. Others of you could be 40, 41, 42, or 47 years of age. You might have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, or possibly 1974. Strong Sagittarius energy coming in again through the number 14. More Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17. Aries energy through the power of number zero and the number one again, okay? Uh, also two, picking up on Gemini and Virgo energy through the number one because that would be the Magician card. Scorpio energy coming in through the number 20 and the fixed signs of the Zodiac through the number 21. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and again, possibly Scorpio. So, but... Either way, we're going to see what number 21 is bringing in today between you and your specific person. What do they want to say to you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 21. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Ah, they're at a blank. Wow. There's a standstill or a form of silence. They could be thinking right now. I'm hearing the word daydreaming, lost in their thoughts, picking up on the seven of cups. They may be getting ready to shift like a timeline of reality here. It just kind of feels like everything is on freeze or on hold with their life right now, despite what maybe... You know, if you're spying in on them on social media. They're in despair. Deep down inside, something has shifted or they feel like they're on hold. Okay.
that I have a sense of loss, loss without you, Scorpio. I left you before you could leave me. This person had massive insecurities, Scorpio. It's time for me to heal now. They're going to be going through a breakup. That's what it's. it feels like it's leading to right now. Meaning a breakup between them and the third party. Am I even good enough for you? So they're having a lot of insecurity right now, whether or not like you're going to take them back, if you're going to believe them. We've had this insecurity card come up before. So this person really might, you know, they're really battling the what if, like what if Scorpio doesn't accept me? What if Scorpio doesn't love me anymore? What if I just really blew my chance to be with Scorpio for the rest of my life. So they're they're definitely going through insecurities, you guys. I think we have a pretty unique connection. So they do recognize they do have things in common with you, okay? I do feel also, too, that in the past, you guys were talking on the phone, like when the early stages of the connection, like talking on the phone for, you know, many numerous hours and trying to figure out or plan when the next time you, the two of you were going to meet up, go do something. So it could very well be true that this person is definitely going through a lot of flashbacks right now and thinking about, hmm, I remember that time. I remember the time I met Scorpio. I remember the time we first went on on our first date. So they're thinking, they're at a hold, they're in freeze mode right now. They're going through a sense of despair. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you. Mm -hmm. They're trying to figure out how to feel worthy of the connection with you. I never experienced this in intense connection before. Hence another reason why they, they freak themselves out. They freak themselves out and that's the reason why they just let everything go or they sabotaged the connection. So right now, they're on hold, they're in freeze mode, they're going through a sense of despair and thinking like, oh my God, did I truly miss the boat with Scorpio? Because something in their environment is getting ready to either end or it has ended. Um, they're going through some kind of a healing phase in this moment. This person could also be at a distance, but they haven't lost attraction for you, Scorpio, the Knight of Wands. So they do want to rush towards you. Their heart is set on fire. You know, passion. Yeah, look at that. Taking action. They're in the King of Wands mode. You go from a, a Knight of Wands into the King of Wands. So male or female doesn't matter. There's a lot of intensity. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of driving force. Them wanting to take Affirmative action, bottom of the deck, the three of swords, healing and mending your broken heart. They don't want anybody else to heal and mend your broken heart. They want, they want to be the one. The King of Cups. Wow, are you guys got choices or options in love? My God, we got three kings. <laughs> Scorpio, do you have do you have three admirers? You just might. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I've got Cancer, 
uh, Scorpio Pisces and Aquarius Libra Gemini. Whoa, they're coming in as the King of Wands, the King of Cups, the King of Swords, getting the mental clarity. Oh my God, some of you guys could be in a same-sex relationship. See, they've been juggling. I think they're I think they're kicking themselves because they were juggling you and something or someone else before in the past. Yeah, there you are, Scorpio. They're coming to a phase or an end. Again, wondering if they are good enough, if they've lost you forever. Because they're, I can feel their anxiousness. Like, yeah, they want to have a fresh new start, brand new beginning, out with the old, in with the new. Some of you could have, um, for you female Scorpios, or um, if you're another zodiac sign watching this, um, you could be another female zodiac sign. Um, I'm also feeling that there could have been, and this is a very small percentage. I'm picking up on a, a miscarriage. Um, that there was a miscarriage maybe between you and this person and that could have divided the two of you apart, you know? Um, so there could have been that sense of, of loss and maybe another reason why going through a healing phase, but they're raring to go. They're ready to balance out this relationship or this connection with you. Summertime of 2024 is looking pretty powerful right now. Yeah, they're bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, also to Scorpio, if you are in business for yourself, your business a little bit at a time is going to start increasing and there could end up being some kind of big payout for all of the work and effort you've been putting in. We got a marriage card here, Four of Wands, Twin Flame, Soulmate, 1111 Connection. This person is bringing in commitment. Wow. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune, Fate and Destiny. So this is about ready to come into alignment, but they've been drawing a blank. You know, they just, I think they're just on freeze mode right now. They're letting their thoughts kind of wander, but they're thinking about you and they're feeling a little overwhelmed and they're feeling a sense of despair. And like I said, you know, I think they're, <laughs> I feel like they're beating themselves up a bit, you know, so We'll leave the energy at like this, but there there is some kind of commitment or they're going to bring you commitment unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. So my awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. My awesome Scorpios, if you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.